happy New Year's Eve. I know you're happy to be able to um, put this year to rest. <laughs> I believe a lot of people are. 2020 has been quite the year and definitely we're looking forward to some better um, activity based on uh, wholesome ideas and and decisions and so and that goes across the board for everything whether it's our career job our family our friends who we connect with whatever it is that you need to do so that you can make 2020 better is necessary now what am I drinking here it is really good it is coffee and rose petals it has such a mmm mmm such a delightful taste I love it very very pretty okay so we're gonna pull cards we'll we'll share what it, the card is about and then how we can transform that okay what good is getting a reading if you can't get the prescription and the anecdote at the same time okay first card is nine of cups reversed second card is Pentacles six of Pentacles third card is king of wands Fourth card is Wheel of Fortune Reverse. What a great reading for this end of the year. So Nine of Cups. I'm going to say this card is representative of um, wasting communication. Talk is cheap if you don't have anything to show for it. And so how can you make that, um, how can you move, move forward? The second card is taking responsibility for what you can contribute to a circumstance, situation, family unit, um, and that's your tangible stuff. What can you physically contribute towards a um, situation? And it's not time for you to, to wonder um, if you have the ability. This is about taking charge and creating the opportunity to do so. If you notice the king is sitting there with his wand, there's Saturn um, at the top right there. So it's definitely about um, a, a stronger position, especially when it comes to your career and your job. And the Wheel of Fortune reverse normally shows up like this where you can you can kind of vacillate between ideas. However, it's showing up reverse, which says stop vacillating, stop going back and forth. You don't have time for that. There's no time, especially now we're going into 2021, you don't have time to think about all the things you wonder will work or not work because the King of Wands says it is time for you to step into your power, be more um, assertive and sure about what you want to do moving forward. Also about creating something that is um, that that shows a contribution towards your circumstances. It could be in your family. It could be with your friends, a contribution and becoming responsible for what you're creating responsible for what is what you're in charge of if not you need to become equal and offer more um, support in 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 your actual living circumstances and then don't waste time talking about it be about it that's what this card is about so then how do we break through again we might feel a lot of trepidation when it comes to well how do I move forward because I don't necessarily have the um, support uh, I, I don't know if I can do that I'm I've never had to take charge I've never had to step into a particular position where um, people will listen to me and accept what I have to say Mm, yeah, that could be feeling like um, you don't have confidence in a particular area because you've not had to do it or that thing has been taken from you. So what kind of thoughts can come up about that? Again, we need to identify the issue. This is a three-step process. Locate how that thing makes you feel inside your body. Sometimes it could just be stress in your shoulders or stress, um, you know, at the back of your neck. Uh, I know it's always in the head because we're thinking about it, right? But you might have tension behind your eyes. You might feel weak in your arms when you think about um, doing something that creates more balance, um, feeling confident that you can do it and that you can offer it. So how do we how do we break that up? So the first one, I'm, and I wrote them down, the first thing, thing that you would do is cancel those negative thoughts that are affecting the body. One of the words that I use is not. Now remember, 
because we're dealing with the mind and the phys physical aspects of it, we're not necessarily going to say things that make sense to get the mind to stop that monkey chatter. But the process works. It's the prescription. Use the word not. That's just one of the keys. The second is using it in a sentence that's connected to how you feel. So that first card, which is the Nine of Cups reversed, this would um, be that maybe people don't listen to how you feel. So therefore you would say, not people don't listen to how I feel. The second card is the Pentacles. And in this case, it's about a feeling like you have the ability to contribute. So that question or that statement can be not, what if I can't do it? The third card is about being in charge, king of wands, stepping into the position of responsibility and, and then being assertive with that. So that third statement that you might feel in your body could be, not, I've never been in charge, and what if I make the wrong decision? And the fourth card, Will of Fortune Reverse, and that's about going back and forth, right? So you may not know what to do. So we could cancel that. Not, I don't know what to do. Now, after you've said those over and over, and you might have a few others that you might want to add to that, just use the word not in front of it. And once you feel that thing in your body start to go down, 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 and it is no longer a charge and you feel really neutral about it, not one way or the other, it's just there. It's, a, it's a, an awareness, but it's not making you feel anything. Then you can use your positive statement. So the positation, positive statement, that we'll use today is, your ideas are good and you are growing more and more confident every day. Well, thank you for joining me today. This is the last broadcast of 2020 of the Tarot the witch's tradition, and we will be tomorrow, January 1st, 2021, with our new broadcast. I'm so excited, and thank you for being with me this entire year. I have some specials that'll be coming up. We have a tarot class that will be um, started January, will be the enrollment for that. So definitely, if you are excited about learning something even more intuitive and adding a skill to what you're already doing, then you'll definitely want to join this class. It's been great. Thank you for being with me this whole entire year. And I look forward to 2021 with you, Michelle Renee and Tarot. Ashe.